So we've seen that the discriminant is that part of the quadratic formula just underneath that square root, the b squared minus 4ac. And that can enable us to determine how many roots, uh, how many real roots, um, a quadratic actually has. And that then can inform us about where the graph sits in the xy plane. So if we have a look at number one, y equals x squared minus 8x plus 16, the discriminant in this case is b squared, so minus 8 squared. Now you can put the negative inside a bracket here, and that makes you uh, wary of squaring both the minus sign and the number. Take away 4 times a, which is 1, the coefficient of x squared, times by c, which is 16. So we get 64. Take away, well, 4 times 1 times 16 is 64, and so that is equal to 0. So we have, in this case, one repeated real root. So what that's telling me is that this is a curve. It's got a positive x squared. It's a curve that will just sit on the x-axis at a point. OK, so that is the situation that we're looking at in this case. So if we have a look at number 2, we have y is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 1. So in this case, the discriminant is b squared, so 1 squared, take away 4 times 2, the a, times by c, the minus 1. So we have 1 minus 4 times 2 is minus 8, times by minus 1 is plus 8, and so we get 9. Now 9, of course, is greater than 0, so there are two distinct real roots in this case. So what that's telling me is that this curve, because it's got a positive x squared, positive coefficient of x squared, it's crossing the x-axis at two distinct points. Okay? So now if we have a look at the third one, y is equal to minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 20, the discriminant is b squared minus 4 times a times c. Notice how I'm using brackets for the negative numbers. 2 squared is 4. And then we've got minus 4 times minus 3, so plus 12 times minus 20. So 4 take away uh, 24, 240. So that's minus 236, which of course is negative. So that must mean that there are no real roots in this case. Now because the coefficient of x squared is negative, the curve must be looking something like this. And it's below, totally below the x-axis because the discriminant is negative. So I've also included a slightly different problem here uh, for number four. So it's asking how many times does the curve y equals 3 over x intersect the line y equals 2x minus 5? Well, you can work out intersections by looking at simultaneous equations. So we can put one curve, well, this curve, equal to the line, because they must both have the same y. So 3 over x must be equal to 2x minus 5. Now what I can do is I can rearrange this. So I can multiply both sides by x. So I multiply the x by the 2x and the x by the minus 5. Subtract the 3 from both sides. And so what I'm actually asking myself is how many solutions does this quadratic have? So I can use the discriminant. So that's b squared minus 4 times a times c. So 25 minus 4 times 2 is minus 8 times by minus 3 is plus 24. 
So 25 plus 24 is 49, which is greater than 0. So because it's greater than 0, there are two distinct real roots. And so how many times does this curve intersect the line? Well, it would be twice. There are two distinct real roots to this quadratic equation, and so there must be two points where those uh, equations, where those graphs intersect.